I don't know why it's so hard for government officials to release government properties when they leave office. Hmm. This set of people have been in office for four or sometimes eight years, eating free government food, housing is free, allowances, salary, so many other privileges that I cannot even finish mentioning here. But once they leave office, the government vehicles especially, they will want to take those vehicles along with them. I just can't seem to understand. Is it that when they finish office, they are so impoverished to the extent that they cannot afford to buy vehicles of their own? I just feel, and on the other hand, thinking about it now, I feel it's also that mentality of national kick. Let me just cut my own and go. Let me just take my own and go. And, you know, that may also, that mentality of that, uh, Nobody can do anything about it. My predecessors have, you know, they took their own vehicle when they are going, when they were going. So why can't I as well take my own? Nobody is going to crucify me for it because they were not also crucified for it. You know, that mentality of there is no repercussion, no justice. You know, you know that when I do this, there's nothing that will happen. I cannot be arrested. That mentality, I think, is what is our problem in this country because we know that how come law-abiding nigerians we are in this like nigerians who are not usually law-abiding pardon me who, who, who would who would on a usual day flout orders like would not obey traffic laws would not do any of that we will travel to other countries and automatically will just become law-abiding will follow the rules and regulation because we know that over there there is usually repercussion for every action whether negative or positive but in this country here, we know that we are in banana republic. Anything goes, which is why, you know, Governor Matawali took about 40 vehicles belonging to the government to his house. His house had to be raided before those vehicles could be retrieved. Hmm. Before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world. Lastly, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. See what Zamfara APC has to say. After DSS raided ex-governor Matawali's homes, discovered stolen vehicles. According to Daily Post, security personnel allegedly broke into the ex-governor's homes and removed some vehicles. Those vehicles were said to have been stolen by the former governor. The action of the police may be as a result of the order given by the current administration because the police cannot just raid his homes like this. After the raid, the party said that the unlawful invasion is a severe violation of sections 34, 35, 37, 41, 42, and 43 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Describing the invasion as a cake barbaric brutal and unacceptable in a statement released on friday the statement also questioned what could have justified the invasion of a recently retired ex-governor adding that the noble people's and for state were still in the dark about the entirety of the security agency's actions why not bring a legal action against the former governor if the administration believes it has it has grounds to do so rather than using such crude and uncivilized tactics the claim was questioned we demand that the department of state service dss and the nigerian police force npf take urgent action to stop this misadventure by the zamfara state government the offenders must be found and made to bear the severe repercussions of their actions. To say the least, the action which is said to have been directed by Governor of Zamfara, Dao Dalawao, 
is a cake, barbaric, brutal, unacceptable, and an illegal trespass on the former governor's property in Gusau and his hometown of Ramadan, he added. He said the invasion was politically motivated and urged those responsible to be detained and prosecuted. He also stated that no law in the nation authorized the police, the DSS, or any other security organization to enter on a citizen's property without their consent or obtaining a warrant. We demand a quick arrest and prosecution of the offenders because the police and the DSS in Zamfara acted in error and can be accused of being political in their actions, it's read. Belu Matawali, the former governor of Zamfara State and leader of the APC, has two residences. The party demanded that the Inspector General of Police order an immediate investigation into the prosecution of those responsible for the illegal act of breaking into Matawali's residences. It's also noted that police have been stationed in all of the residences. It further urged his man, Aukali Baba, the Inspector General of Police, to intervene in the situation and ought the security people from entering any further. What do you guys think about it? About this, you know? I feel if you don't want embarrassment, if you don't want somebody to enter your house without, you know, warrant, why not just leave government properties alone? At least you have used this property for the duration of the time that you were in office. So why not leave these cars for the next governor who is coming in so that he could be able to use it as well? Because I don't understand. Like, the next governor will come in and then have to repurchase these same, you know, type of vehicles because he's going to, he's not going to trek. He's going to need vehicles while in office. So he will buy another set of vehicles and then when he's going, he will take them al al along and then the next person will buy, like, wastage of resources. That is why we keep borrowing. That is why we keep shouting that there's no money to finance budgets in this country because... We keep wasting our funds. These are the ways that money keep leaking through the coffers of a country. You guys, let me have your opinions in the comment section. What do you think? Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with your friends and family. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.